Hi everyone, this is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. So today is a get ready with me. It is New Year's Day. So Happy New Year to everybody out there. And also, um, again, thank you for all of your support. I appreciate it in the new year and going forth. I hope this is going to be a fantastic year. So um, quick get ready with me. We have a birthday party. We've got some errands to run today. And I'm really going to try to make this a quick one. So lately I've been doing my entire face makeup off camera and today I'm just going to do everything on camera. So I'm going to start with my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Face Primer. This is like a skin colored, it's hard to tell in the light, but it's a skin colored primer and it is silicone based so it really does fill in your pores. And I like putting this, like this product in general, I like putting this on my skin even if I'm not wearing makeup because it gives you such a nice smooth finish and even if you're just putting on blush and or like even bronzer and you're not wearing foundation it seems to keep it on longer and then I'm going to use a drugstore con or sorry not concealer foundation today because this is the only one that matches my skin tone I still haven't picked up a new one this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless nor for normal to oily and it is the shade 220 natural beige I just give it a shake and I don't love this foundation because it doesn't have a pump. Um, I hate this. Like, I'll never buy another one of these again. I think this one I had before I actually started buying higher-end foundations, so I just want to use it up. The thing is, the formula on this one is actually pretty good because it's nice and light and doesn't look cakey on your face. If you guys have watched my planning videos, I know I've talked about me being pregnant. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but I've been noticing rosacea on my face is really changed like or especially around my nose and mouth area so a good foundation is nice to just kind of cover that up i am using the real techniques miracle complexion sponge too and this gives me the most natural finish i could use a brush because i'm really trying to be fast here but i like the finish the sponge gives me but today is going to be a fun and playful look i want it to match this top kind of so i might play with some sparkle and some teal shades right now my son is obsessed with like asking me what my favorite color is because he tells me his is blue, green, and red. So I tell him, and I'm not allowed to have the same colors as him, which is fine because I don't like the same colors. <laughs> my favorite colors are pink, purple, and teal. I'm going to do another pink look too because I remember I had one. I'm going to post it for you right now. I had one pink look and it was like pink and gold and it was one of my favorite looks. I'm going to recreate that one of these days. The foundation is done. I'm just going to go in with my Magic Star. This is the shade C13. It's so cute with a little star on it. So I'm not going to do a contour today. I might add a little bit of bronzer everywhere. This is just going to be under the eyes. A little bit around the nose. I do some on the nose. And I really don't even need to do any on the lid because glitter that I'm using today, it's actually not a gel glitter. I'm going to be using the Violet Voss Best Life Palette. And I was just checking the formula of the shadow and the mattes and the shimmers are fine but the actual like glitter shadows they're not gel it's just literally a powder so the only way to make it stick is to use a glitter glue and I am using the Too Faced glitter glue so I'm gonna see how it works I think I maybe have used it once in the past but um, I don't really make it a habit of using it because the glitters that I use generally just go on with like a setting spray or concealer on the lid and it's fine but these ones I don't know if they're going to stay and I know I've probably talked about this I'm actually going to do a haul I'm going to see if I have time to do a haul today um, and to film in the same day because I've been doing a lot of planning and kind of goal setting videos lately but I do have a couple of new products that I want to share with you and I got them over Christmas so Kind of excited to share that, so I'm going to see if I have time to do that today too. Looking good. I'm going to go in with the Magic Star Powder. This is the shade Beige. This smells like, what did we call it before? Toasted Cotton Candy. I love the smell of this powder. So I'm actually just going to use my sponge just to bake. Well, I, don't, I probably won't bake. To apply the powder underneath my eyes. And then I'll go in with powder brush for the rest of my face just to set everything down. So then next, usually I go ahead and do my eyebrows, which I might do. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll apply some bronzer first. So I've been loving my Too Faced Natural Less Bronzer. It's very similar to the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And because it's so big, it doesn't really fit in any of my makeup cases. So I've been leaving it on my desk. 
So I used the F22 powder on my face, and now I'm using the F30 for bronzer. It's usually my bronzer brush. I go in, and this one actually even has like more of a light tone. It's not so dark, and it has a little bit of shimmer to it, but kind of gives the skin a natural finish without having that greasy feel left on your skin. And by greasy feel, I mean like radiant finish foundation, which I hate. I don't know how many times I can say that. I don't mind the look of radiance, I just don't like the feel of like radiant, like radiant foundation products. So now for blush, um, I'm gonna use my F10 blush brush by Sigma. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Life of the Party palette. It just, it's a clay blush palette and clutch, but I like mixing the first three colors, and I just kind of twirl the brush in all of the colors. You can give a little smile just so you know where the apples of your cheeks are. And actually, I always add a little bit to my nose, my forehead, and my chin for looks like this because it gives a little bit of color to my face. Makes it look like I've got a natural blush going on. I always kind of joke when I'm in a rush to go to the, like, the doctors for my appointments. Like, obviously, my skin doesn't look this good without makeup. You guys have seen my skin. But I usually have really dark underneath, like, under eye circles. And I always kind of joke that I always have to put blush on, even if I don't have time for a full makeup routine before the doctor, because then it makes me look kind of healthy. <laughs> blush works wonders. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go off camera, quickly do eyebrows, and then we'll get to eyes, and then we'll kind of be done. We'll Again, be um, all the products I don't mention, I will leave linked down below just so you know what I've used. And the eyeliner is this Hard Candy Stay In Line Mechanical Eyeliner. The color is Santorini. I don't know if they sell them anymore, but it has a little smudge brush on the bottom so you can smudge it out. I'm just going to add some la like uh, shadow to the lower lash line. So to get started, I'm going to do the glitter first. I'm in the Best Life palette and I'm thinking like, I think this would be really, really pretty, but I was also looking at this one. So, Happy Hour, but I think Money would be really pretty. That's actually, I was going to do, like, one of these color sparkles on the top lid, and then use this on the bottom. So, now I'm kind of like, hmm, what do I do? I could just leave the top um, plain without sparkle, and then I could just do sparkle on the lower lash line, because I love that. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Okay, so what I might do, I wasn't going to, I'm completely changing my plan right now. I'm going to go in and contour my eye using these two shades here. I'm going to add some of this, or maybe some of that, because it's so pretty. And then we're going to do um, this color on the lash line and see how it goes from there. So I'm starting with an E35. Go in with Paradise, lightly contour the eye, slowly adding cocktail now, the eye some shadow and some color, and going back in the Paradise to blend it out. I'm going to go in with the glitter glue now. I'm going to pat it on my eye. I think I'm going to try using a wet brush. So this is the E58. I'm going to use some makeup setting spray on it. So this is the Milani Make It Last. I'm going to go in with Happiness, I think, which is more of this golden color. Put a little bit on the brush and add it to the eye and just see how that applies. Okay, I actually think that looks really pretty. So I'm just going to add that onto my eye first. So I only added the glitter glue in one spot. So I'll go back in with my finger, add some more. And I'm just going to keep this concentrated in one spot because I don't want it all over. And anywhere where the, the glitter doesn't stick to, it will fall off into your face, so just be warned. So I think that's it for the glitter. And then I'm just going to wipe away any glitter fallout that I have here. And I'm going to focus on the lower lash line now. So I'm going to go in with Desserts, which is this pretty color. And I'm going to stick to the outer lash line. So I'll use an E15 flat definer and just blend it into the liner itself. I'm just pushing right into the lashes. And I'm going to try using um, Parties, actually, which is kind of like a glitter teal shade. And I'll blend that into the matte one, and that's going to stay on the inner part. And I really want to add Money, which is a sparkly green color, so I think I'm going to be, go all crazy and add some. I'm going to take an E30 pencil brush, spray my brush with a setting spray, go in to Money, and add just a little bit and add that to the lower lash line as well. Good. And then, um, just to kind of top things off, I'm going to go into my Mary Lou by the Balm and brighten up the inner corners with a clean pencil brush and E30, a little bit under the brow bone. And then as for the eyelashes and the liner, I'm going to add 
a black um, coat of liner on the top lash line. So I'm going to use my two, two well, my Too Faced Better Than Sex and lashes will be L'Oreal Blue Line. And I'm going to add some lashes and I'm not sure which one. So as soon as I'm done, I will get back to my eight lashes that I used were the Cala Style, or sorry, the Cala Brand. This is the 3D Foam Ink and they're Fuego. So these ones are a little bit more extended towards the outside edge. And I did cut them quite a bit just so they wouldn't bug the inner corner. And once I cut them, I don't feel them at all. So I am going to give my lips a little bit of definition because I realized my lips just kind of got lost in this look. So I'm using my Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Ona and Spice. Just going to fill them in a little bit. And then I'm going to top it with my Fenty Gloss in Fenty Glow. And I believe that completes the look. So I'm not doing highlighter. Or should I? Maybe let that a little bit. I wasn't going to. When I think about it, and I'm like, yeah, I need highlighter. Mary Lou by the Balm, of course. And I need to find my highlighter brush. Where are you, highlighter brush? There you are. So this is the F, I think, 35 Tapered Highlighter. I was right. A little bit on the cheekbone. A little bit on the nails. I usually do the cupid's bow, but I already put my makeup on or my lip gloss, so I'm just going to do right between the brows a tiny bit. And that is it. That is the completed look. So, I know this is a fairly quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. It would help me out so much, and I appreciate all of you who have subscribed so, so far. Also, click that bell notification and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful new year and I hope you had fun last night. But I hope you are safe. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.